Woodland Park, Colorado, 30 minutes from Colorado Springs. It's known as the city above the clouds, and it's home to Manja Manja, an Italian restaurant owned by former realtor Julie Watson. Hi, Manja Manja, this is Julie, can I help you? We bought the building. It was a fast food restaurant, and I didn't know what concept I wanted to do. Would anyone like some cracked pepper? My mom decided to open up an Italian restaurant because there aren't any other Italian restaurants. There's three Mexican and two Chinese. You guys need tables. This is the only Italian restaurant in Woodland Park, and we've blown it. Come on, people. Because Julie is a poor manager. Just do whatever you guys want to do. How's that? She doesn't know what she's doing. I said to use plates. How are we supposed to plate up spaghetti? <sighs> this restaurant runs like a Jerry Springer show. Get rid of this shit. And what's in the walk-in? We fight a lot. My mom has a tendency to yell. No, you're supposed to fucking make a meat lasagna for tonight. Instead of solving the problem. The next fucking lasagna I bring back is going up your ass. She gets mad. She. You stay out of her way. Just not in the mood for it. And you say anything, and you're going to get it. Is someone hiding shit? Because I just ordered three dozen bowls. The king of the world attitude that Julie has causes a lot of problems. Trevor, that's burned to a curse. We have to start that over. My biggest problem in the restaurant is my head chef, Trevor, who thinks he's a god. I want it done, and it better be done by 2 o'clock. I run someone. Fuck you, Trevor. I hate Trevor. He's disrespectful. He's just not a very nice person. He throws fits. What's going in? He's thrown stuff at me. He's messed food up on purpose. This is always a good way to check. Ah! He's walked out before. Here, if you don't like this, how about this? I've never been into a sit-down restaurant with a drive through window. Hi there, how are you? All right, thank you. A drive through screams fast food and not just casual, fine dining restaurant. This is not good. The food isn't cooked with much love. It's cooked with stress and a microwave. Where is my other lasagna? It's in the microwave. There's like no cheese to it. That one table bitch so much, I don't know what to do with them. I have had more people tell me what is wrong with me th that, than ever in my whole life. It's like open field day on Julie. I've reached my breaking point. I'm stressed and cannot take any more. Deep breath. If this restaurant goes out of business, I will lose everything. I have put all my money into this restaurant. Having Chef Ramsay here is the last resort. like a fast food restaurant. <laughs> this has to be a first. He's here. I see him. Janelle, just chill. I wonder if they have tables inside. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Yeah, very well. Thank you. Nice to see you. What's your first name? Janelle. Janelle. OK, great. Look, let's get one thing right. You do have tables inside, right? Yeah. OK, great. Um, and the drive through why is that here? Normally, people call in their order, and then they pick it up. So. On average, uh, how many guests drive by a day? Maybe Not like one or two, So yeah. I'm the one of the day? Yes, you're the one wow. of the day. Wow, well, let's make this quick. Okay. Um, soup of the day is what? Uh, it's chicken and wild rice. Let's have a um, chicken and wild rice, please. OK. Thanks, darling. Mm-hmm. Wow. Why are you making me do this, Mom? Janelle, stop. What's, should I just do soup how we normally do? And the yeah, just do it like we normally do it. Well, let's see how quick they are. Very nerve-wracking. She's going to need a spoon. I know. Hey, Janelle, don't forget to tape the top. I'm going to tape the top. This is super frustrating. I just want this to be over. Where'd he go? That's my soup. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. My kitchen nightmares first. It smells really good. A drive through Italian restaurant. It is hilarious. He has an adorable accent. Yes, he does have an adorable accent. <laughs> wow. 
That is it. That is it. Well, it doesn't look very um, appetizing. And uh, knife and fork, <laughs> no spoon <laughs> to eat my soup. Mind you, it is actually thick enough to eat the soup off <laughs> a fork. You forgot to give him a spoon. How's he supposed to eat a spoon? You didn't give me a spoon. I gave you no, a spoon. No, you didn't hand it to me. Trust me. If you're going to be in the drive through business, first of all, you can give me a, a spoon. And secondly, you could at least fill my cup. But this is. Pretty horrific. Ah. Wow. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are I'm you? Julie Watson. Julie, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. And you are the. I'm the owner. The owner. Well, let me tell you something. That's the first for me. A drive-through <laughs> pickup in an Italian restaurant. Was that great? The soup wasn't. Oh, the soup wasn't no, good. No, oh, it was I'm thick sorry. and bland and. I'm um, sorry. So let's catch up, shall we? Okay. Yeah. What's with all these little frilly curtains? People didn't like the fact that the booths were down, and so they asked me to raise the booths, and that's how we raised them. Oh, my curtains. Right, how are you? I'm good. Excellent. So what was the plan in opening this place? Because it looks like a chain restaurant. It was a chain restaurant. No, it looks like it now. Still? It doesn't resemble a fast food restaurant for you. Well, kind of, but not that bad. Right. I don't see anything Italian in here whatsoever. Really? Yeah, really. I think it's cute. OK, well, when was the last time you were in Italy? Never. Uh -huh. OK. I'm like? Irish. OK. Is that all fake? Are they Christmas tree it's... lights as well at the top? Yes, it is. Um, we're in August. No, but it's light. It gives light into the day. I think it's beautiful. Which part is beautiful for you, the fake flowers or the curtains? <laughs> <laughs> You're just not going to let that go, are you? Oh, Holy pretty... shit! I'm just curious. That's always... Uh... Oh, shit. You're making me laugh. <laughs> uh, why Italian cuisine, then? I opened an Italian restaurant because people in Woodland Park said there's no Italian. Open an Italian restaurant, and so I opened an Italian restaurant. Right. You must have some good staff, surely. I do. So who are the highlights? Uh, Andrea mm -hmm. is a great waitress. My daughter, Janelle. Oh, Janelle, the one who forgot the to give me a spoon for the soup. Yeah, the okay. one who forgot to give you the spoon. Um, I have Kevin's great, one of my cooks. Right. Um, problems, what are they? I think our food's great, but I have a cook that has worked with me since the day I opened, and he has an attitude. Right. But I haven't fired him because it's hard to get help up here in Woodland Park. It okay. is. Yes, it is. Who maintains the standards here? Me. Are you the controlling? The buck stops here. Right. But you just confirmed you've kept the wrong chef for four years. But he right. shows up. 90% of the time, he does what he's supposed to right. do. Right, OK. But 10% of the time, he's an asshole. And which freshman did he come from? He's never worked in a restaurant. So he had no background in training? Exactly. So how did he start? He was not washing dishes. OK, and does he get on with the rest of the team, the front no. of the house staff? No. He doesn't? No, he makes them crazy. And what do the servers think of him? They think he's an asshole. Okay. If he gets pissed off, he'll walk out the back door and sit and smoke. In the middle of service? Yeah. What? Yes. Where does that come from, that attitude? Because he thinks he's a god. He's seen the parade of people that I've had through this restaurant. Okay. So he's put you over And so out. he's, yeah, exactly. He knows that I can't fire him because I have no one else. How old is he? 22. He's 22? Yes. I mean, 22 years of age, you shouldn't be running the kitchen. But somehow okay. the food turns out good. It does turn out good. How is that possible? Because we haven't changed anything for four years. OK, well, we'll see. Proof's in the eating, right? That's right. Show me around. OK. Please. Excellent. Um, the Great Wall of Woodland Park. Yes. I love my wall. Don't make fun of my wall. Good. No, no, it's, uh, that's hideous. Ladies, how are we? Good, thank you, and Andrea. This is Andrea. OK, great. Uh, young man, come over. How are you, bud? Uh, Trevor Peterson, nice to meet you. Trevor Peterson, OK. And what do you do? Oh, I'm the head chef. So you're yes, the young 22-year-old that 90% is good and 10% is an arsehole? Yeah. OK. Or the other way around, whichever way you uh, want to look at. No, I'm just going on what the owner said. Uh, how do you rate the food out of 10? Five. F oh. It's your own food, Trevor. Wow. And I would give it a 50-50 on Trevor's behavior. And where does this stem from? Did we fall out? We were dating back in the day, or I guess you could say. Right. It might it's even like... be a 40-60 on the nice? bad side. Seriously? Yeah. You make me that mad. You, you tried much. to punch me. What, 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 hold on a minute. Janelle. Janelle, come over here, my darling. Please. This? Young man tried to punch you. Yeah, he pushed me into the walk-in and tried to punch me when I told him I was going to call the cops. Where? Yeah, about a month ago. Is that real? 
I didn't. It's somewhat real, yeah. So you grab her, threaten to punch her, and push her into the walk-in? After she tells me no one cares if I get fired, no one cares about my well-being, no one cares about me, no one gives a shit about me. Because it's true. No one likes you. Chef Ramsay has already witnessed some minor problems like the decor and some major problems like the serious tension between the owner's daughter and the head chef. He's hoping that he can find some positivity in the food. How are you, darling? Good, thank you. How are you? Andy, right? Yes. I taste that soup. I felt like going straight back to the airport. <laughs> OK, we're done. Let's order, shall we? OK. Um, right, let's go for the wild mushroom ravioli, please. Phil Piccata. Um, where do I sit? The fresh Pacific salmon. Okay. Mama's own meat and sunny as well. And uh, I've got to go for the meatballs. I think we're done, my darling. Wow. Thank you. Of course. Here's his orders. Got a good mix. Is that for Gordon? Julia, you're in the way. Like always. You know what, Trevor? That's bullshit, Trevor, and you know it. <laughs> Kiss my ass. Although I'm not a fan of Trevor's antics, I think our food is still very good. Mushroom raviolis. Mushroom raviolis. And what's the sauce? It's an Alfredo sauce. And can you ask the chef when he made the raviolis, please? Yeah. Thank you. Wow, that looks like a pile of defrosted snow with bear shit sprinkled all over it. Trevor, when were the raviolis defrosted? Just, Just now, yeah. Wow. Do they look homemade? I don't think so. They're frozen and they were just made. So store bought? Yes. Damn. Can the chef make a ravioli? I don't think they ever have, no. Can you ask him if he can make a ravioli? Sure. Thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, wow. That is bad. Ah. Trevor, have you ever made ravioli before? Fresh ravioli? I have not. Do you know how? No, he no. does not know how. <laughs> He's never made them, and he doesn't know how. He doesn't know how. You know making pastas like making bread, right? So 550 grams of flour, six egg yolks, whisk them up, pinch of salt, drizzle with olive oil. He's having Andy write down how to make How to make raviolis? Lovely. You mold it together. That's called cool pasta. Then knead it like bread. OK. Yeah? OK. Thank you. They were disgusting. <laughs> wow. Did he throw that away? Yes. What the fuck is wrong with it? Trevor, he would like you to get together 550 grams of flour, six eggs, oil, a pinch of salt, everything you need to make pasta. What's 550 grams of, I don't know what that is. Of flour. He needs to get the stuff to make. I know, but what is 550 grams? Yeah, he's British, Mom. I know, but what does that mean? We got to do the conversion. We have to figure out how many cups okay. that is. Figure it out. I don't know. OK. He wants him to get everything to make raviolis? He wants him to just get everything together and start making pasta. Oh, this is going to be fucking great. A chef that doesn't know how to make pasta, and you're the head chef of an Italian restaurant, even if you can't make ravioli, linguine, spaghetti, lasagna. Wow. It's too oily. Trial and error. I've never done it before, Julie. Thank you. Yeah, that's way too oily. Yeah, that is too much oil in there. Yes, it's supposed to be dough, not paste. Now, now it's my first try. Bear with me. <laughs> Trevor is way out of his league right now. He has absolutely no idea what he's doing. That guy's an idiot. Here's your meat lasagna. Thank you, my darling. And um, there's a big, disgusting thumbprint with meat sauce. Can you ask him just to take his paws off my side? Do you see that thumbprint? I do. It's like dubbed in the sauce and... Right on yeah, the edge right of the on the side of the plate. Yeah. Not appetizing. Can you ask yeah. him just quickly wipe that off, please? Absolutely. And tell him to clean these fingers, please. Yeah. Chef's thumbprint all over my plate, covered in tomato sauce. No, thank you. That's disgusting. Now what? He hasn't tried it yet. He just wants you guys to clean the edges of the plate. There's fingerprints. There's a really bad one right there, and there's some more here. And he said to make sure you guys clean your hands. Okay. I'm stressing out. Mama's made lasagna. Um, darling, why is it so watery there? Um, that would be from the marinara. Wow. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Ugh. Damn. That is stone cold. I mean... Well... Andy, so we just touched that there with your finger. Okay. Yikes. 
cold? It is ice cold. Oh, it's ice cold right here. Yeah. So, ice so. cold. Okay. <clears throat> Show Julie. Julie, please. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Disgusting. The chef would like you guys to feel right here. It's cold. That fucking lasagna is cold. Julie, it's the microwave. I told you not to use that microwave. Use the one in the back, I said. It's not going to make a difference, I guarantee I you. said to use the one in the back, because I don't want this fucking happening again. It's not going to make a yes, difference. Yes, it is going to make a difference. It's a microwave. Then why all of a sudden did it change? That fuck is fine now. fucking years. That's bullshit. I said what? don't use okay, it. OK, Julie. God. Julie's in denial about everything. And I don't understand why she won't acknowledge that. Make sure there's no fingerprints. Here's your spaghetti with meatballs. Thank you, my darling. And are the meatballs homemade? No, they're frozen. Oh, come on. Serious? Does he know how to make a meatball? He does know how to make meatballs. Oh, OK, great. So why is he doing them? Um, I believe that they used to do them and they fell apart too much before. That means he doesn't know how to make them. Doesn't know how to make them right. <laughs> wow. Ask the chef why he can't make a meatball. OK. Please. Yep. Thank you, though. Wow. And the meatballs taste like warm foam. Trevor, chef would like to know why our meatballs would fall apart. Why would you not be able to make a meatball? I told him the reason we stopped serving them is because they fell apart. That was our original chef. I didn't say that. That was putting words in my mouth. Thank you. I would love to go back making handmade meatballs. OK. That's bullshit. <laughs> Trevor, I can't get you to do fucking prep, and you want to make meatballs? That's going to work. <laughs> Kiss my ass. You don't want to pay anybody to do anything. I have to beg you to come to work in the day. I can't even put you on days because you don't show up. Do you think I want to come back here and try to handle the whole goddamn kitchen? You don't handle this kitchen. I handle this fucking kitchen because you refuse to do anything. So I don't know what to do. You ask for this job. You always walk around I saying, I'm you. the head chef. I you. <sighs> now do you see why no one likes you? You can shut your mouth. Oh, I'm scared. Trevor says it was the original chef's meatballs that fell apart. He's never made the meatballs here. OK, so. He knows how. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that's a uh, dreadful texture. Meatballs taste frozen. And marinara, if you just tip the plate to the side, I'll just show you, it's just full of water. I didn't expect a watery marinara. And the spaghetti's not even glazed. It's just bland. OK. Thank you. Now what? The spaghetti is not glazed, it's bland. The marinara is watery. The meatballs, you can taste, they're frozen. What's wrong with it? It's fucked. Oh. I don't, I don't know what's... The spaghetti is bland, the marinara is watery, and you can tell the meatballs are frozen. I don't think it was that bad. I don't. I think it's fine. Thank you. Oh. <clears throat> Veal piccata. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. Man, that's bad. Jesus. How's the veal? Yeah, it's still, it's still raw. You see it there? It won't even cut, so I'm still scraping it. It's that raw. It's not even hot. I don't mind it being pink, but it's raw. Yeah. Veal piccata. Veal was raw. I mean, I know it just needs to be kissed in the pan, but it was that thick. Raw in the middle. The veal is still raw. It's raw. Raw? I mean, I can't say anything about that. It's fucking raw. Where I'm starting to get, like, fucking pissed. Excellent. Thanks, darling. You're very welcome. And could you ask the chef just to show me his ball of pasta? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Chef wants to see the bowl of pasta you started. Oh, I tossed it. He threw it away. He threw it away. He threw it away? He did. Why? I have no idea. He did earlier, I guess. Damn. <laughs> that better be right. Thank you, Diane. Wow. Now, what is that? That's your salmon with That's the balsamic paint. With the balsamic paint? Yes. Is the salmon fresh? I believe it's frozen as well. You're kidding me. Mm -mm, it says fresh on the menu. It says fresh on the menu. You're absolutely right. Fresh Pacific salmon, frozen. Yes, it's frozen. 
Good girl. I finished telling us terrible. The mash tastes weird. It tastes weird. Do you mind? It's just, it's just. A... It just tastes old. When were they made? I'll go find out. Would you mind? Please, mm -hmm. thank you. When were the potatoes made and by whom? Are you fucking kidding me? What's wrong with it? The mashed potatoes taste old. They just made them last fucking night. Okay. They were made last night. Okay. That's bullshit. This is fucking stressing me out, man. Chef Ramsay liked nothing today, and I don't know what the hell happened, and I am completely shocked. That's bullshit. There's nothing wrong with that salmon, and those potatoes were made last fucking night, so that's bullshit. I love my food. Why doesn't he just leave it alone? We got a fucking problem. Lunch was a complete disaster as Chef Ramsay discovered issue after issue. Wow. It's now apparent to him why this, the only Italian restaurant in town, is struggling so much. Uh, let's get the team out. Let's have a chat. OK. Everybody come. Uh, so I, I'm, I don't know where to start. Has anyone got an ounce of training? I personally don't. First question I asked Andy was, does a chef make pasta? I How bad know. does that sound when we're standing inside an Italian restaurant that you're the head cook of? The fact you can't even make a fucking meatball, that scares the shit out of me. If my interest has dwindled. You don't have the interest. You shouldn't be putting the jacket on. I mean, is anything fresh? I don't have fresh food. Everything that we come in except for our produce. OK, but I mean, you don't have fresh food. All of our, we make all of our sauces. Oh, come on. We do. Come on, what, you expect me to give you a round of applause because you make your sauce? Right. Mushroom raviolis. The filling was hideous. Bland sauce. Lasagna. Stone fucking cold in the middle. The worst thing about you defrosting it, A, you can't operate a fucking microwave. B, the bits that you were cooking, they're bland. Uh, the veal. The veal is old, I'll tell you that. Yes. What do you mean old? I mean, I don't order veal very often. It was raw. That's what I was trying to say. Oh. Fresh Pacific salmon, $18.50. Yeah? Frozen. Frozen, very weird taste, look dreadful, overcooked. No one complains about that salmon. Oh, People on. like it. So you don't think that customers need to know it's frozen? If they knew it was frozen, do you think they'd order it? Does it say fresh on the menu? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Big, bold well, letters. Then, OK, then that's a mistake. You don't know? No. It was changed. It was changed. When was it changed? How long ago was it fresh? About two and a half, three years. Two and a half, three years ago. So, uh, a while. When did the salmon arrive? Couldn't tell you, honestly. You couldn't tell me? I couldn't oh tell you. Oh, my god. I've seen that salmon in there for a while. I don't believe that either. I'm just saying. I don't believe that either. That's OK. OK. Why did you go in denial when they're telling you the truth and they're, they're in the engine because room? Because I'm the one that orders the food. Well, we're the you one don't that cook it. I don't cook food. it, but I order it. So when was the last time you ordered salmon? Probably two weeks ago. Why are you shaking your head? Because it's been in there longer than a month. Trevor, that is fucking bullshit. Do you think customers locally, do you think they should leave their home to come into your restaurant and pay for frozen food that they could cook better at home? I think our food's good. I'm standing by my food. I think our food's good. So what part of store-bought frozen food do you think's good? I think our food's good. Help me to understand what part do you think's good? I think it's good. I no. mean, I don't understand what you're asking me. OK. So out of all the dishes that I had, the veal piccata that's old that you agreed to. I do. The, the lasagna that's microwave that's stone cold, not even microwave properly, and the salmon with the paint. I'm asking you, very politely, what part of your menu do you think is good? I think our food's good. But you're not stupid. I'm not stupid. So meatballs frozen, sauce watery, lasagna. They can't even fucking reheat it properly. And then why are you blowing smoke up your own ass, telling yourself in a deluded way that your food's good? Or have I missed the trick and I haven't ordered something that you said I should be eating? I think our food's good. Who's telling you it's good? The customers. They're not coming. That's why you're in debt and you're putting your funds into okay, this place. Fine. No, but come on then, man up. I will say this, we have never had a customer, Andy will, but I have very had very few customers ever actually complain to my face. OK, uh, do you know, I'm not interested about the customers that blow smoke at your ass currently. I'm interested in the customers that aren't coming any longer. And truthfully, most customers don't like to complain to your face. 
They just don't come back. They vote with their feet. I don't think you've got any idea how this business is functioning. I do understand how the business is functioning. You don't know what's on your menu. You don't know how it's written. Your chefs disagree with you. I mean, I, I've never seen so many people so far apart. And the proofs and the tasting, because it felt just all over the shop. You are way out of your depth. The food, bland, boring, dated. And when a head cook can't even operate a fucking microwave, that scares the shit out of me. But the owner said your food's good. So continue kissing her ass. Wow. My food's good. My food's good. Yeah. My food's good. Well, that wasn't pleasant. I'm surprised I didn't walk out of this place two years ago. Trevor's being a little fucking prick. <sighs> Don't cry. It hurts my feelings. You know. If you cry, I'll cry. That was brutal. That was a little too rough. Let's go outside. <laughs> that was very unpleasant. I don't even have ever felt like this before, ever, in my life. This is horrible. After a frustrating conversation with a defiant owner about the many problems with the food. Hi there, how y'all doing? Chef Ramsay returns to see how the dishes are prepared by this band of young cooks at Manja Manja. So talk to me about the line. How does that, uh, how does this roll? Well, we got our saute. Saute? Yep, all of our raws. Veggies, the produce, yada yada. What's in here? Meatballs and sausage and marinara. It's like an oil slick in there. Wow. That's terrible. Is that normally yeah. like that? You said that the spinach was tart, didn't taste fresh. I think it looks just fine. Oh, we haven't met, have we? Yes, sir. How long have you been here, bud? A couple months. A couple of months. What's wrong with the place in your mind? We have a leadership problem. These guys haven't been trained properly. Yeah, you're not wrong. Honestly, I don't feel that Julie has the leadership qualities. We have a very young staff and inexperienced staff, and unfortunately, she's the biggest reason that they're not where they need to be. Oh, no. What's wrong, Janelle? Said so they're too salty, so they're ordering something else, just so you know. Too salty. Are you not interested in tasting this when it comes back, or you just, fuck it, it comes back? I just say, fuck it, I don't taste it. You just say, fuck it, yes, don't chef. taste it. Wow. It's yellow, it's limp. Chili, that's the spinach from behind the line. It can't look like this. It's behind the line, they're cooking okay, with it. Why does the spinach look like this? That's what we've been getting in. No fucking way. And we've had to wash it because someone last night had a piece of sand in it. Seriously? What the fuck is this? Spinach that's you what? ordered. This is not, our spinach has never, 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 never looked like this. He's trying to impress Chef Ramsay, but that is not Trevor. Trevor is a spoiled little bastard that refuses to do his job. I have never seen our spinach look like this in four years. They've cooked with it, they've sent it, you've charged for it. You need to see it. I see it. And you're just gonna let them cook with it? No, I'm gonna have, we're gonna have to figure something out. Uh-huh. Throw that shit out. It's hard not to laugh. I know. That down. Look at this in here. In the walk-in, he goes. It's the mold on the floor. Look at that. This is an absolute horror. Fridge just used like a trash can. Even buying peeled onions. How much pasta are they cooking? Yeah. Is he expecting a pasta rush? And more pasta. He's obsessed with spaghetti. Containers of pasta cooked. All this work for what? What's he doing? OK. Julie, you got two seconds? Sure. How often do the restaurant cook pasta? Uh, every day, every other day. So, like, twice a day? Fresh for lunch, fresh for dinner? No, once a day. They'll just cook it in the, like, midday. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you have any idea what's going on behind here? This will be used today. Can you stop dreaming? Do you have any idea how many portions are in here? No, I you don't. Got, you got no idea how many portions of capellini pasta are in there? No, I don't. Okay, how many do you think then? Roughly. 20. 20. Now that is a lot of capellini. That's just one container. It's pasta mania. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Enough pasta for close to four hundred portions on this table here. 
And we've got how many customers tonight? 53. 47. 47. I don't know why there's this much pasta cooked. I'm only asking you because I don't know either. I'm looking at it thinking, what fruitcake's operating this? We don't have this much pasta. It I, didn't I reproduce itself. I Let's get that right. I absolutely agree with you. There's usually three. One, two, three. Not all this other. These two, I don't know why these are here. Just told me this is all going to be used in a day. No, I'm if you, if it, Okay. They use. Because here's the thing. I'm going to get okay. changed. Okay. And I'm going to drive straight back to the fucking airport because you are just bullshitting. Okay. Let me ask you this. Please. How can they cook this, the pasta for every order that fast? Doesn't it take? It would. These people will be waiting. These people will be waiting. So this is Capellini. I know it is. Which cooks in how long? About three minutes. 90 seconds. I'm I telling have you, never I'm seen, not a chef. I have never seen anything as bad as this. Okay. But what I'm just trying to explain to you is common sense. Maybe you are a fast food restaurant. It's dinner service at Manja Manja. I have never seen anything as bad as this. And Chef Ramsay has discovered over 400 portions of pre-cooked pasta. And Julie refuses to take any responsibility. Maybe you are a fast food restaurant. Look at all this pasta. I, I fucking agree with you. Oh, no. Not more pasta. Where did that come from? That's gluten-free. 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 Gluten gluten -free. Gluten -free. And there's the angel gluten -free. here. Somebody needs to go wait on my table. You guys yeah. need to pick yeah, up you, table you, you, 19. You continue running your business. I don't want to stop you. Any more pasta in the house? Not that I know of, chef. Fuck me. They way overcook pasta like you wouldn't believe. They're trying to bury me. Yeah, I think they are, too. How's that this looking? Not the prettiest, but getting down. I don't know why Julie doesn't want to fire Trevor. He half-asses stuff. He's lazy. So what is that? It's our meat lasagna. We nuke it for four minutes, put cheese on, and nuke it for two minutes. So it's a double nuke. Wow. That looks like a science experiment. Now you're going to put it back in there with cheese? Cheese on it. My god. Oh, fuck me. Hold on, man. Where's that going now? It plants Into in the, microwave. the or microwave. And then what? Back on the plate and, and marinara and send it out. Fuck it out. Can I use any of the microwaves? I don't know. <laughs> microwaves are full right now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Once again, we're working that microwave. One, two ovens, one, two, three microwaves. More microwaves than ovens. I have to agree. Oh, and shit, hold that. on. Oh, my god. It's hot. And what is this? Uh, they're supposed to be veggie lasagnas, but the microwave, like, goose it out. The final result is a hard piece. I can't even cut yeah, it. That's because it's been microwaved too long. Yeah. Doctor, do you need a I think the patient is dead. Julie. Yes. Time of death, 7.44. Just touch that for two seconds. It won't hurt. Mm-hmm. But when you just say OK, it's like... I'm not saying OK. I'm saying something's fucked up. Something's fucked up. Why does it look like that, Trevor? Because it's microwave. We have been cooking these for four years this way. All of a sudden, they're fucked up. It's been fucked up for a while. No, they haven't. Did you use the microwave that I said don't yeah. fucking use? Yeah, I'm telling you. why'd you use it? Because all the microwaves do the same why'd thing. Why'd you fucking use it when I said don't fucking use it? all the microwaves do the same thing. Are you serious, thing? Kevin? You use it again, me and you are going to have a fucking problem. All right. Huh. Deal. Kevin has never talked to me that way. And I can see that Trevor is rubbing off on that guy. Chris, hurry up. I, I need to put something in. What, what do you want me to do? I can't go any faster than the computer's going. No, I, you're fiddly fucking around. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. You want to plate up these raviolis and get them out? Wasn't there supposed to be no sauce? It's my ass. While Julie and Trevor continue to point the finger at each other, it is salty. It's so salty. Chef Ramsay observes the majority of tables in the dining room are disappointed with the food. And that's overcooked. Medium well should be a thin pink line, gentlemen. Thin pink line. Oh, that's, that's just, it's way over. It's way over. It tastes frozen. Right? Cafeteria? Yeah. So very sorry about that. Um, they are working on another one for oh, you. No should problem. be out just a second. Wow. What happened? They weren't happy with the breading on the eggplant. They said it was too thick and didn't taste fresh. Jesus. Truthfully now, when was the last time that was changed, your breadcrumbs? Yesterday. So you don't do it daily? No. Wow. She complains about the price. Who complains about the Julie. price? What else you bread in there? Chicken and eggplant. You bread, yes. eggplant, yes. and chicken in the same container? Yes. But look at that in there. Yeah. So what happens for a vegetarian? Cross-contamination. I honestly never even thought about Julie. that. Julie. Yes? They change the breadcrumbs once every two days. You laugh. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing because that's bullshit. 
What I'm trying to say is that I asked about the breadcrumbs. I the kitchen said they change them every two days. That's, I don't... So okay. When, okay. When, in your mind, when do they change them? Every day. But you're saying one thing, they're saying the other. All I want but is the say, truth. OK. That's I'm, all I want. I understand that. Is this from yesterday? Yes. yes. And yes. how did you change it? Every other day. Every other day, because, yes. Julie, make sure that you don't throw them away. That's bullshit! OK, it's worse than that. Do you know what they put in there? Egg. Chicken. An egg. An eggplant. I know what they put in there. What I'm concerned about is in there, there's bits of chicken. I understand that. So if I was sat here with my wife or my children, they wanted a vegetarian dish, You're... and they got bits of chicken shit. OK, I'm not taking any more fucking tables. What? I'm stressed out. I'm not taking any more tables. You're closing down. I just cannot do this and that. During dinner service at Manja Manja... Look at all this pasta! Chef Ramsay has discovered over 400 portions of pre-cooked pasta. That looks like a science experiment. And almost every dish being cooked in the microwave. Owner Julie still maintains that her food is good and that all of tonight's problems are caused by the cooks. I'm not taking any more fucking tables. You're closing down. I just cannot do this and that. I'm waiting on tables. Can you pass them on to the waiters or not? Yes, I, I mean, can. It's just going from bad to worse. You seem to be happy with it. Mom, you just got like four tables. What the hell do you want me to do, Janelle? I don't know. You need to check on your tables, though. Julie's in for it. What's the soup today? A towel your wedding. Who made that soup? It's store bought. Wedding soup frozen. What else? What else is frozen? Yeah. Everything. I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. we got a full freezer full. This is insane. We got our tuna, we got our salmon, we got our beef, we got our chicken, we got our seafood. So everything's frozen. Everything. Yes, chef. So there's nothing fresh. No chef. Nothing. Deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. Julie, you got two seconds? Tonight's it's the wedding soup. Yes. Yeah. Popular? Yes. Chef's made it. Right. Well, they... They defrosted it. They defrosted it. That's it. And the customers love it? Yes. They do like it. And how many of them know that it's frozen? I have not had that conversation. All right. But you take their money? Yes, I do. Shame on you. What do you want me to say? You've given up, haven't you? No, I haven't given up at all. You don't think you can do better? No. You think it's fine to microwave frozen food? I'm not microwaving frozen food. We're you microwaving... think it's okay to serve frozen meatballs? They're you not think frozen. it's okay? They're... Meatballs aren't frozen. They start out frozen. Wouldn't that be frozen? No, 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 no. You've worked at three restaurants. You can't be that stupid. And I know you're not. I would respect you more if you would just be honest with yourself. I'm being You're honest. You're done, aren't you? You're not fit to run this restaurant. Yes, I am. What qualifies you? Yeah, I was just about to ask that. You go away. Get out. Go away from my face right now. Wow. It's fake. It's not fake. If it's not fake, then what is it? It's a restaurant. Where is it a restaurant? Here. You don't make anything. You buy everything. If I got those tables out of that dining room to watch you reheat egg palm, lasagna, meatballs, they would shit themselves. I thought it was normal. When you go to a restaurant, what do you expect? Fresh or reheated frozen via a microwave twice? Do you expect that as a customer? No, I don't. So why do you do it? Because that's how I thought it was supposed to be done. You didn't! Because you don't give a shit. I do give a shit. Where do you give a shit? 45 covers in tonight. If I ask 45 customers, what percentage do you think of your food was fresh? What do you think they would say to me? I... No, they... you tell me. What do you think they would say? But you think they think it's normal. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Julie, what? Julie, you running away? No, I thought well, you were done. Well, can we ask the I customers were... a question? I thought we were done. Oh, no, no, I'm not done yet. Shortly, I'll be done. First of all, I'm sorry to disturb your dinner. Just out of interest, when you decided to come here this evening, you look at the menu. What percentage of that menu would you expect to be fresh? Let's start from table to table. Ladies. 9200. 9200. 9200. 9200. Madam. 9200. 9200. 100. Sir. 100 all the way. 100 all the way. Well, I am deeply sorry, but let me tell you something. It's not even 5% fresh. It was obvious. It was obvious. And 95% of everything you've eaten this evening is frozen. And you can cook better at home, yes? Yes. So why do you think it's fine now? I'm leaving. You're running away? I'm not taking any more. Julie. I'm walking out. You're walking out? Wow. Just not in the mood for it. I'm not going to be screamed out like that. I can't do it. Julie. I cannot do that.
walking out. Easton, Pennsylvania is located an hour away from Philadelphia. Just outside of downtown Easton is Bella Luna, an Italian restaurant owned by Rosaria Scolo. This table right here. Who bought the restaurant in 2010 for her two sons, Maurizio and Gianfranco. That's for Nicole. My son Gianfranco went to culinary school, and one of his dreams was to own his own restaurant. Two chicken parms, penne vodka, and chicken and broccoli. So uh, we found a place here, and we took a chance. Is everything OK? Uh, marginal at best. I feel the community has not responded to us the way we thought. I don't feel they really appreciate fine Italian cooking. That's it or not. I just don't think this is worth coming back to ever. We're in a state that we don't have much business at all. You know, there's days we got to close early. There's days we don't open for lunch. If this guy complains still, let me know. People of Easton like mediocre Italian food, frozen food, and that's not what I do. FYI, they sent the soup back. They said it tasted fatty. Just it FYI. tasted fatty. I studied in Italy, and I worked with chefs, and I know what Italian food is. This chicken's burnt. What do you mean this chicken is burnt? Does that look like burnt chicken? Please. Doesn't taste bad to me. What are we doing wrong? That's my question to myself. What am I doing wrong? Oh. Bella Luna, um, personally, I think it looks like a morgue. When you walk into this place, I think, where's the viewing? Do I go through that door? Is that where the body's laid out? But why did the they table. want to speak to me? Why can't you deal with it? I, I, could, I tried to deal with it, but they asked to go, go over to my head. Well, I've been dealing with everybody all night. Rosaria is very disorganized. Why are you in the kitchen, Ma? You should be out on the floor. Because I'm trying to help out. No, 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 no. You got to help out on the floor. And she's not a leader. Everybody is running around, burning the candle at both ends. Bella Luna should be on the map, and it's just not and we need something different. If we had to close, I would be very disappointed because we worked so hard to make this dream happen, and it would just kind of kill me. It really would. Bella Luna. Chef Ramsey, how are you? Tracy, Tracy thank no. you so oh, oh, much. Nice to see you. Is this your place? No, I am the manager here. Rosaria Scolo owns right. it and her two sons, Joffy, our head chef. OK, great. Maurizio, the son. So mother and son mother and run the place. Sons, yeah. Do you normally greet customers? Before they even get out of the car? No. Seriously. You're special. I'm special. You're oh, absolutely special. I, I'm happy to be and here. You smell good. <laughs> um, on a scale of one to ten, how bad are they? Minus two. Oh, shit. They're very stubborn. Rosaria coddles Joffe. You know, if a customer sends a plate back, she'll yeah. defend the son instead of saying the customer's always right. Wow. That makes me insane. Are the locals biting? No. No. No, no, no one's all. biting. And this place should be banging. Yeah. We have to do things. I run a Fifty Shades of Grey bingo on a Thursday Jeez. night. Say that again? Fifty Shades of Grey bingo. Bingo. It's adult bingo. Adult bingo. Yeah. Uh, uh, handcuffs it. involved? No, no, no. Well, they could be if you wanted to. But I mean, why would you? No. God, no. Jeez, man. <laughs> Just arrived. We just try and think of anything that will create a buzz, a but, stir. Okay, your hair looks great, by the way. Uh, turn around, that was lovely. <laughs> it's, it's a chia uh, pet, by the way. Can we get inside? Please come. Uh, it's an honor. Uh, thank you for the briefing, by the way. Uh, oh, appreciate thank it. Thank you for coming. All right. Um, oh, Jesus. Is it Christmas? <laughs> wow. Yeah. What's with all the Christmas decorations? Um, we are in the middle of July, right? It's Christmas in July. Oh, hello. Hello, Chef Ramsey. You must be... I'm Rosario. Rosario, nice Can to see you. Can I give you a hug and oh. a kiss? I'm Italian. That's yeah. what we do. Uh, <laughs> nice to meet you. Let's go inside, shall we? Sure. In the barn, have a little chat. Excellent. OK, uh, first of all, um, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, how long have you been open? Uh, three years. Three years. OK, good. And uh, what kind of background do you have? I don't have experience of owning my own restaurant. Neither did my son. 
but we all have the passion for food. Mm -hmm. And since Gianfranco went to school and he wanted to become a chef, you know, this was our dream. So he has Russian experience? Uh, well, when he finished school, he did an internship in Manhattan. Yeah. And then after that, we just jumped in here. So I won't say... Awesome. I can't would go. say he had internship a to ownership. Yes. No, come on. So we all, yes. What about the big bit in between the things called experience? Didn't have any. But you had a vision. We had a vision. Wow. We followed it. So how's the food? I think it's more authentic than than okay. other places around right. here. We make everything fresh. We don't use anything frozen. That's great. News. You know, That's we, great we news. only have one freezer. And this is the way I want it to be. I want to sure. bring out fresh Italian food. But why wouldn't Ethan embrace that? Why wouldn't they support it? I don't know. I think they're used to one thing. Like, if they're used to frozen food and you give them fresh, authentic, they will not appreciate it. So you're saying they'd be more upset with fresh as opposed to frozen? Yeah. The food is not the problem here. It's probably more of the community really don't know about fresh, authentic Italian food. Good afternoon, Chef. Maurizio. Maurizio, good yes. to see you, bud. Maurizio, and this, and this is, is, uh, this is Chef. Chef Gianfranco. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good to see you, bud. So, uh, this is a dream come true for you, right? It is. You running a business with your mum. Yes. And are there any issues with you and your mum running this restaurant? Uh, yes. Like, communication, me and my mum, right. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, hard because it's your mother and, yeah. you know, we are both bosses together, but sometimes I don't agree and I tell her, but she just don't listen. And how do you rate your food in terms of a scale of one to 10? Where'd you go? Eight. Eight. Fantastic. Well, listen, I'll catch up with you after lunch. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Here we go, chef. Bar, dinner, lunch. Bar, dinner, lunch. Yes, so, sir. So, God almighty. Um, OK, who's been writing letters to our valued customers? <laughs> Thank you for choosing Bella Luna. OK, we take great pride in preparing every meal and refuse to serve substandard food. That's nice to hear. I like that. Good. Uh, shall we order? OK. What would you like? Oh, okay, camera, Danny. I'll go for the veal, the salt and bokum. Um, the penny and the vodka. OK. Uh, and throw some mussels in there as well. Marinara? Yes, please. All right. Thank you, Marinara. Yes, chef. Here we go. OK, he wants veal salt on boca, penne a la vodka. That's it. Oh, and a mussels marinara, please. Damn, cooking for a world-class chef. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Very well. What's your name? Nicole. Nicole. How long have you been here? A year and a half. In your mind, what's wrong with the place? Management. Not focusing on, in my opinion, what they're supposed to be doing. So totally unfocused. Yeah, there's a lot of name-calling, disrespectfulness in the back. Really? Um, what, from the kitchen? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Well, enjoy the meal. Thank you. Um, she seems like a nice girl. No. What do you mean? No. Out of her mind. Serious? Yes, chef. Nicole is a moron. Did I serve you? Nicole needs to be out of here. But I leave that up to Rosario. And this is the uh, salt and vodka? Yes, chef. Thank you, darling. Oh. oh. Wow. How hideous does that look? My god, it's planned. Chewy. That has been beaten the crap out of. It's fucking disgusting. I think he's complaining about the veal, Joff, that it's tough. I did it 10, not even two seconds. I flipped it really quick. Tenderize it. I mean, we do have one of the best veals. We get it from the butcher in Queens, so I don't know. Unless you overcooked it. I did not overcook it, bro. This is so overcooked. It's extraordinary. A little taste of that. Oh, my good God. I mean, it's dusted with flour. See all this? Yes. See this here? That, that's gunge. That's just raw flour. That is like, you can make a fucking pizza dough with that. That's, gu that, 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 that's gunge. I'll remove it. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Wow. How's the veal, Frank? Feels overcooked. He said gunge. He called it. It's, it's just flour. Wow. I mean, this is, uh, if Chef Ramsay doesn't like the veal, there's nothing I can do about that because that's the way it's made, and I'm not going to change that. OK, Chef, this is our penne a la vodka. Can I just give you that much yellow and bits of crap? Why 
Why is it drowned in sauce? I cannot answer that. I mean, it's like baby vomit. The sauce is disgusting and that is gross. Does Chef not cook pasta? We have inconsistencies. I should have grabbed the penne that I cooked this morning. Why? The penne that I just cooked is sitting there fresh. Didn't even get oiled yet. What, what did we give them? Penne I cooked yesterday. I'm sure there's a difference. It still tastes good. You didn't like the taste? No. You didn't like no. the taste? Awful. Okay. Said it was like baby vomit. Baby vomit. Baby vomit. Okay. Where's are you? Come over. Apart from being drowned in sauce, the pasta's like mush. Would you mind? Because everyone starts thinking I'm exaggerating, but it's like overcooked. Disgusting. But the flavor is not bad. Oh, I disagree. You disagree with the flavor? The sauce is bland. There's no salt in the sauce, and there's too much garlic. But for me, the fundamentals, when you come to an Italian restaurant, is the pasta. The pasta's overcooked. That's the embarrassing part. Anyway, can you get the chef to taste that? OK. Excellent. Thank you. Wow. Taste the pasta. Yes. You said it's drowned in sauce. But it doesn't have any flavor. The sauce doesn't have any flavor? That's what he said. Oh, ideal. Eight out of 10. Trust me, right now, he's not even eight out of 100. All right. Thank you, chef. All right, hope. Good luck. Wow. Uh, are we sure? That's it. Uh, <laughs> when I think of Italian cuisine, it's done with an exciting, generous amount of mussels in a bowl, but that has to be the tightest portion of mussels I've ever seen in my entire life. Is that what customers get? This is what customers get, Chef. But how much is that? I'm not really sure, Chef. Do you find out how much this one is? Yes, Chef, Please? I will. I mean, seriously. Oh, my God, how much are the mussels? Look in the computer, Tracy, and find out. Sister, you did. Wow, you no. really just said that $10. to me. You didn't know. You own the fucking place, sister. I know, $10. Oh, come you on, should come know on, too. Come on. It's $10. How hard was that to tell me when I'm dealing with this shit? Mm. Oh, that was a muscle. It's a fucking clove of garlic. Damn. $10, chef. Holy crap. They taste frozen. Can you just check with the chef, because they are so chewy? Yes, I will, chef. Yeah, please? Man. Are the mussels frozen? Yes. You should have fresh mussels. We cannot have fresh mussels when we have a menu that's extremely large. They taste so chewy. Yes, you... chef, they are frozen. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Come on. Uh, can you come in the kitchen with me? Yes, sir. So far, he likes nothing. I'm going to stop flipping out in two Food seconds. Food as authentic and fresh. Disgusting. Chef Ramsay is beyond disappointed, and he is in need of an explanation. OK, uh, come over. Uh, I don't know where to start. My experience at lunchtime was dreadful. And there was nothing authentic in what you just served me. And I'm struggling. The big kick in the balls for me, the muscles are actually frozen. Why are you serving frozen muscles? No, I, I need to know, because you told me fresh. I'm only going on what you told me. We don't sell enough mussels for me to have them fresh every week. So then what's the most important thing to do about that dish? Take it off the menu. Take them off the menu. So why haven't you? She doesn't want to take things she? off the menu. Who is she? My mother. Why would she do it? Maybe we can well, afford to make new that, menus. I, I, I try not to have anything frozen on the menu. Stop. I try not to have anything frozen right. on the menu. Right. Did you just say that? Yes, you did say that. Right, but so then, they're frozen. Then him as a chef, you should tell me, take them off the menu. I did tell him you. as a chef? Yes. I did take tell you. Take them off the menu. Why is it still on? Why? It's still on because there's a constant circle of miscommunication. Who wants it off, who wants it on, and it still stays on by the end of the week. I don't know what it is, thinking that you can just buy a restaurant because it, it, it succumbs to your dreams. Your fundamentals are all screwed up, and you have big issues here, from making pasta to proper seasoning. You've got more chance winning the lottery than you have becoming a success here. Can you read?
vita. Good evening. Just give it a quick run through. How does the line work? Who does what? Um, You're not going to get on any that tickets. side. I stay on this side. We try not to like cross each other so we don't step on each other's toes. Uh, why can't we get tickets? These are what we have. We just on bits of paper like that. Yes, you have bits of paper like That's that. Insane. That is it. There's no proper tickets. I need the shrimp from the microwave, Dustin. Show me those uh, shrimp, please. Where do they come from? The microwave, Dusty? Yeah, we defrost them in the microwave. So you frozen shrimp? Yep. Just ask him. OK. What's that in there? Shrimp and juice. Defrosting chicken in a wash hand basin full of blood. And then we're prepping it next to a cooked meatball. Wow. Here, go ahead. I'm not seeing very much what you're portraying in the front of the menu. You know the fresh ingredients, and please be understanding. And you know the chicken's frozen? The chicken we buy fresh. Chicken's frozen. Well, when you come around, I'll show you where they're frozen. Are those chicken breasts frozen? Yes, they were. Yeah, they are. Thank you. The chicken's not fresh, it's frozen. We're defrosting it here in the wash hand basin. See that blood there? And you don't know that this is frozen. You're yelling at me. This is an issue that you should take with the chef. Do you know we defrost the shrimp in the microwave before we soak them? No, I no, know okay. that we put it in ice water. What? Uh, uh, Dustin? Yes. Are you defrosting the frozen shrimp where? In the microwave. We right. don't put them in the water, I No. See. OK, so you didn't tell me any of this when I first met you. All you told me about was your freshness. You turned around and said the, the authenticity and what right. you stand for. That's what you told me. Right, and I so still believe in that. You believe in it, but you're not actually practicing it. Yes. So you're saying one thing and doing the opposite. Right. Fucking hell. What? After feeling misled by Rosaria about the freshness of the food, Ugh, Chef Ramsay decides to do a little investigating to find out what is really going on in this restaurant. Ugh, how much chicken does one restaurant need? <sighs> Calamari is not even frozen. And here, voila, my delicious Italian mussels. Have you got two seconds, Rosaria? How much chicken do you think you have in the freezer? I don't know. Let me show you. I rarely come down here, so I really don't know. We buy it fresh. It's fresh. Really? Just... That's the calamari we got today. Frozen at the bottom? Right. Hold it. We got it in this morning. And we're freezing it. And then we're defrosting it to send it back out. Why should anybody wait for shit like this? I saw the calamari bring fresh today. It's fresh. We bring it in fresh. We got the delivery this morning. Are you crazy? So why in denial? The kitchen is not my responsibility. I have enough responsibilities, Gordon. Am I a superwoman? How could you not know? I don't have 20 years of experience. If you are making the statement of being fresh, being authentic, you don't need 20 years' experience. You should know everything. You should know what's going on in every fridge. So it's my fault. So if it's not your fault, then whose is it? I'm not the chef, Gordon. You're pointing everything out on me. Yeah, let me go and get him. Go ahead. Yeah. Ramsey's down in the basement. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. He ain't going like that. Have you got two seconds? Yeah. What's the matter? Let me show you. You don't prep that much chicken and then freeze it like that. We buy them fresh and we bread them and we make them ourselves. You're telling me that. So I'm sat there like an idiot believing you. I didn't call you an idiot. I'm calling myself an idiot because I believed you. You're allowing these practices to happen, making false claims. I'm not a fan of frozen food. I, I don't, don't, I don't get like this. frozen food. You're endorsing it. You run a business selling it. I, like you're I said, I don't. Say no. I mean, this is insane. You don't like frozen food. I don't like frozen food. What the fuck? I don't like frozen food. So you have the nerve to serve it to your customers. So it's not working because this is frozen. That's what you're telling me. If something is frozen, it's bad. 
it stays frozen, it's bad. Come on. You can't be this naive. I don't know why we don't have people coming through the door. I feel like screaming because it's like you're in denial. This is not cost control. This is stupidity at its best. You don't need to be a culinary genius to identify how bad this is. Up. He's no. right. You knew it from the minute we came in here, Ma. Okay. That's that's so wrong. He wants to hear it from you. I would say it's my mother's fault. It's her restaurant, and I might be pointed as the bad guy, but I'm not. After being frustrated with John Franco and Rosaria over the deplorable state of their food storage, Chef Ramsay heads back upstairs to see what's inside the walk-in refrigerator. Oh, look at that. Lizard in a desert wouldn't eat that. Wow. Grand through and through. Absolutely disgusting. Fresh turnips. Oh, my God. Oh, look at the color of that. It makes me gag. That is veal. Oh, you dirty bastards. Zario, what the fuck is that? These are my... I don't serve these. These are mine. How many times a day do you go into that walk-in? Roughly. 100. A hundred. Disgusting. Hold that. That's broccoli rob, leftover from my brother's wedding. They're leftover from your brother's wedding. Yeah. Come on, guys. Have you any idea how bad a turnip needs to go before it gets that bad? Touch that. Just, just touch. I... Just, just, just. I'm not serving. We're not using it. No disrespect, but what would you know has been served? No, I don't know why it's not funny. It's not funny. I am fucking pissed off. Wait, it gets nobody, worse. Nobody yeah. throws anything out. I can't wait I can't. for this fucking excuse. Have you any idea how bad a slice of veal needs to go that colour? Just smell that. What was that colour? There's a veal in there. It smells bad. How long is that there? It couldn't have been two days, man. Oh, fuck off. Two days? What in the fuck is going on? You don't fucking care, you do. Of course I do care. You don't give a shit. Says who? That walk in there is a disgusting mess. You should be ashamed. Hair in the food. Hair in the food? Who just said hair in the food? Me. Is this a joke? Come round. Oh, no, I think she's talking to somebody. If you were examined tonight, what do you think Close. would happen? Close you down. Close down. Can you go out there? and apologize to every customer. Yes. I am shutting it down. May I have your attention, please? We here at Bella Luna apologize for any inconvenience to you wonderful people of this community tonight, but we are shutting it down. We are not worthy to continue this service. All right, it's been shut down. Can we close that door, please? It's just going to keep getting hotter in there, and more stuff is going to go bad. What more stuff can go worse? Tell me. I have no clue. Right. And now, in the last 60 seconds, all of a sudden, you give a fucking shit about what's going to go off? You got lazy, and yet you cannot accept it. You're done, aren't you? You're, you're finished. What do you mean? Finished for the night. Oh, uh, no, not for the night, but just in general. You're a spent no. force. No, it's not who I am. Really? Yeah, I haven't gave up. If I have, I would have left you. I would have left you here by yourself. It's not my fault. <laughs> she thought everything could work. She thought it was easy. And I told her it's not going to be easy. Well, how about you stepping up? <laughs> all the pressure, all the tension, it's building on top and me not getting paid. There's a reason why you haven't had a fucking paycheck in two years. Do you ever stop and ask yourselves? You are making so many mistakes, you don't even know what's right or wrong. And you're allowing him to do it. You're both destroying each other. I'm amazed you've stayed open for three fucking years. And I can't do everything for them. I cannot be checking produce. Why did you buy a restaurant when none of you worked in one? I don't know what to do next. I don't know what I to do, know. Chef. 
That makes three of us, because right now, I've got fucking no idea where to start. A chef that's checked out, that's given up, and an owner that's in fucking denial. I'm not in denial. I'm not. You can show him a lot better than this job. I know you can. Come on, that walking's not that big. <laughs> Something's got to change here, man. The cards are laid out. Either we go all in or we turn around. We're not making any money. We haven't made any money. And now we ran out of heart. Jeff, you know what to do. You just yeah, lost let's... yourself. You were taught right, and you have traditions from our family. You just got to put that back in play, you know? Here we go. Fed up with both Rosaria and John Franco, Chef Ramsay has devised a plan to get everything, once and for all, out into the open. OK, Chef Franco, yeah. Rosario, each of you is going on trial. One at a time, so you're going to come up here and defend yourself. Got it? Rosario, I'd like you to go first. Come on, come on down. OK, take the podium. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Tracy, Rosario's weaknesses, what are they? Very weak in discipline with the staff. She needs to be tougher on the back kitchen. She needs to be tougher on the front. OK. But I don't think I'm weak. People do mistake my kindness for weakness. But I'm not a weak person. I but you're weak. You're here. weak because she lets people walk all over her. So that's that's one point. Yeah, I'm too nice. Go ahead. Next. Unorganized, mismanagement, no follow through. You know, you know. But I'm one person. I cannot be doing everything. If my job was just to manage and sit in my office and take care of my bills, I would have everything down packed. And that's but what I'm it there should be. serving. And that's what it I'm should be. I'm doing bar. I feel like I'm having a nervous breakdown. And then and I walk out. Nobody understands. And you're nobody cleaning gives windows. A shit. How many yeah, times have I said nobody to you? Nobody cleans windows. And I'm there cleaning instead of going into the walk in and checking to see if there's any produce that's going bad. OK, last night was a, an eye opening for me. I didn't it's have no clue what the hell goes on into that walk in. OK, Chief Franco, yeah? Um, she's too nice, and people step over her. And... She's too nice to you, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Very so nice. She to babies you. Too. You would have been fired a long time if you were in someone else's kitchen. How about that? How about stepping up to your plate and really show your passion that you lost? You lost your passion, John Franco. What happened to the, the passion that you had? You wanted to be a chef. I didn't push you to be a chef. That was your dream to be a chef. You wanted to go to school. You made it happen. Yeah, maybe this is the wrong way around. How about you getting up and swapping places with your mother? Yeah. Let's go. Because it's just starting to shift to you, my boy. You also have to take responsibility for your own actions. I will continue. Why are you letting go? Why? I feel like I do all this work, and I don't get any credit for it, and I don't really show my true passion because I'm just working with this disgustingly huge menu that I do not like. You gotta take responsibility too. It's it's yeah. it's it's not just hers, it's not just yours, but I mean at least take I know, your hand. I don't have the too. time and the money but to I go. But I tell him to take over. You're the chef, make a menu. Okay? If he takes the bull by its horn and he just does it, I'm not gonna say no. So put your foot down. Grow some balls like I always tell you. You are a chef, young man, but you need to you need to find your voice. You're right, I do. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let me tell you something. You need input from a, another source. Hang on a second. Come in. Thank you. Bill, good to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank nice you. you. This is Bill. Hi. And he brought a few of his friends. Take a seat, ladies and gentlemen. Please come through. These people represent the town of Easton. You'll probably recognize them because they've all died in your restaurant, Rosario. Ladies and gentlemen, um, the owners and the staff need to hear from you what were your recent experiences when you went to Bella Luna. Fire away, please. 
there was a, a fly in the wedding suit. And it was kind of an embarrassment, and we just left it there because we just didn't want it. <laughs> suit of the day. Um, so, I mean, anything to say to Bill? I apologize about that. I, I just apologize. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Next, please. The food and the service have both been subpar. All of our entrees came out at different times, making it very difficult to enjoy a family meal. That's my issue with food being prepared and sitting on the line, mm -hmm. because we're short-staffed. It's not the customer's problem, the fact that you're short-staffed. It's not just the service. Alicia, thank you so much. Thank you. Next, please. Um, I went there once. Food was subpar. Very disappointing experience for what I expected. Everybody has a bad night. I figured I'd give you another chance. And the second time I went, it was extremely disappointing. Our dinners were totally wrong. My son ordered chicken. He got veal. I threw my money on my table and said, I'm done. I will never come back here. Oh, sorry about that experience. Next, please. The food, everything just did not work out. But what really, really stood in my mind was I ordered a cannoli, and the cannoli was sour. And so you came over to me, and you gave me a fresh cannoli. Well, why didn't you give me the fresh cannoli first, rather than give me an old cannoli that left a horrid taste in my mouth? I mean, a sour cannoli, I mean, it, it can get you sick. Right, but I was not aware that you were giving the sour cannoli that wasn't good. Well, maybe I, the I sour cannoli shouldn't even be there. I was not giving it to you, you know? But my point is, is as the when owner When the cannoli manager, came back, and then I tasted it, and then I said, this is going bad. Well, yeah. Gone bad, not going, gone bad. It's bad. Once it's gone, it's gone. It's not coming back, is it? So, right. <laughs> you know, that should be gone right. the night before. Do you know, it That's shouldn't be there. That's what I was there. saying. Like, why even serve something that is questionable? Oh, you're right. That you're was totally just, right. That was the, the experience that I said, I, I don't think I'll ever come back to this restaurant. Wow. <laughs> to hear what they were saying. You know, the reality, it, as much as it hurts, it's the truth. This feedback uh, this morning has been pivotal. I hope you'll all be willing to give Bella Luna uh, one more chance. Uh, on behalf of the owners and the team, uh, I'd like to say a big thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed. I think everything has to be changed. And if that's what we need to hear to make things better and get Bella Luna back on the map, I guess that's what we need to, to hear. Convinced that Rosaria and John Franco are now fully aware that change is their only option, Chef Ramsay goes ahead with stage one of his plan, transforming the data decor of Bella Luna. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning Chef. Welcome to the new Bella Luna. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Do you see this, Ma? Amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> How bright. And refreshing does this beautiful restaurant look. Do you like it, John? <laughs> I love it. Gone is that dark red maroon color. We've lightened up the walls, the ceiling with that beautiful gray. Oh my god. Gone are those hideous tables in the middle, place them with rustic centralized tables. Great for families. It's got that communal feel as well. And the back wall, the entrance of the kitchen, we've had a little bit of fun there. Those cutting boards just give it that nice rustic charm. Oh yes. I never thought Bella Luna had any chance of looking this amazing. Oh, I'm still speechless, and everybody will tell you, I'm never speechless. When I first arrived here, this area was a bit of a disaster. What I'm about to show you is something that is unique. This will be a game changer, because you have now a state-of-the-art, stunning, oh, brand new, here we go. <laughs> beautiful POS <laughs> system nice. from Dinoware. It's going to transform oh, your business. Man. You can track your inventory. You can adjust your costings, labor costs, and what we need to hit on a weekly basis. And trust me, chefs, it'll be so much less of a confusion for you in the kitchen. This thing is going to be an absolute dream machine. Excited? Yeah. Very, yeah. very. Good. Amazing. Thank you so much. I can't believe that I'm standing in Bella Luna. I feel like a little girl when I was back in Sicily. It's amazing. I'm just so thrilled. This is like a dream. Wow, I can't believe it. OK, come over, please. Take a good look at Bella Luna's new food. Oh, my god, I love it. Take a menu, my darling, and pass them along. The first course, steamed mussels, fresh when they're open. 
They're cooked, you send them. That's how you should be serving a bowl of mussels. Yes, it's amazing. Delicious cavatelli, beautifully handmade, light, creamy tomato sauce. Next to that, you've got the delicious lasagna, homemade lasagna done with a nice, rich bolognese sauce. You've got a wonderful pan-seared salmon, served on a bed of risotto, fragrant risotto with tomatoes, raisins, parmesan, and a little olive oil vinaigrette. It's beautiful, beautiful. The presentation, like, it's got to look good, mm -hmm. and it does. Absolutely. Absolutely no frozen food here at all. Fresh, clean ingredients. It's relaunch night, and Chef Ramsay is determined to change Bella Luna's negative reputation. So how are you? Thank, Thank you, you for coming back. No problem. So he's invited back nice many of the unhappy customers that were at the town hall. Hello. And it pasta up. Cavatelli and chicken parm. That completes table six. Go, 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 go. Very early into service, John Franco's attention to detail in the kitchen is paying off as customers are thoroughly enjoying Chef Ramsay's new menu. How is it? Oh my god, it's better than my mom. She's Italian. It's so good. So Franco, Nicole put in an osso buco and a pasta dish that they're waiting a long time. OK, all right, I'm sorry. Come on, guys. Fucking hell. OK, all right, look how many tickets we have back here. But just midway into service, John Franco is overwhelmed with the rush of tickets. I need steamed mussels. We're working on it, Tracy. And maintaining the standards of the new menu. Now, which table did she say I need? Wait, wait. Come on. And a relaunch that started off on a positive note is suddenly in jeopardy. Still waiting on table six. How long do you think? Uh, it's going to be a little bit more because you have a well-done prime rib. No, I don't no. have a well-done prime rib. All right, so, OK. Come on, guys. Get the tables together. A minestrone and a Caesar salad. Are you kidding me? All of you, quick. If you think I'm serving that, you're dreaming. We may as well go back to where we were. Right. All of a sudden, we've just dropped our fucking standards. And the next person that throws that out at me, I will throw them out. Yes, Chef. Come on, guys, let's go. Come here, you. Is that what, is that what you busted no. your ass off for? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Come on. You're right. It's in front of your eyes. Get them together. It's relaunch night. And John Franco's standards have dropped in the middle of service. If you think I'm serving that, you're dreaming. And Chef Ramsay is not exactly pleased. Is that what you busted no. your ass off for? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Come on. You're right. It's in front of your eyes. Get them together. Yes, Two sir. ways. A kitchen functions. You run it or it runs you. All right. Come on, you can do it. It's been about an hour and a half, right? Yeah. One little mistake, and he sinks to oblivion. Get in there and get him lifted up. Come on, honey, you're okay. Don't worry about it. Everybody's happy. They love the food. Don't let one little mistake keep you down. I'm trying. Okay, honey, don't worry. Gianfranco is under a lot of pressure right now. You guys are doing great. But he needs to know how to deal and work with the pressure as well. All right, guys, we got to get a hold of ourselves. We need another bruschetta. We need all this stuff plated. I need a parpadella and also buco right away. That's it. Are we ready for table six? Yes, we are. All right. Let's go. Stop plating that. Very nice. Keep it going. Salmon, I need it right away. Plate it. It's in the oven. Run that out. And now I have appetizers ready. I'm proud of you. This is amazing to me to see John Franco actually get a voice. There you go. That's the part of Adele. How are we doing? How We're was your dessert? Well. Oh, it was so though. good. Everything really good. Yeah, this is our first time here, but not our last. It was a pleasure serving you. And we'll see you soon. Tonight, let's be honest, it wasn't perfect, but we went a long way to impressing the locals. Young man, I finally heard your voice tonight, but it needs to be there from the beginning to the end. And you can't have your head in a pan, because this place is going to be busy. Thank, Thank you, you so Chef. Much. Good night. Take care of your mom. OK? Yes. Chef? OK. What a big man. Thank you. Darling, come here, you. Uh, take care. God bless you. God bless you. Good night. <sighs> what a night. A mother and the two sons moved from New York to Easton to open their dream restaurant three years ago. But truthfully, they were not ready for such a big challenge. But now, 
They have the roadmap on how to succeed, but what they really need more than anything is the discipline to follow it through. Wow, Bella Luna, fingers crossed. What a place. In the months that followed, Welcome to the new Bella Luna. Rosaria took Chef Ramsay's suggestions and Bella Luna's business increased significantly. Good job, everybody. I really want to thank Chef Ramsay for choosing us to help us and try to save Bella Luna. I just, I feel so blessed. Grazie. You got it, Mom. Due to some issues with the landlord, Bella Luna had to close temporarily and is now searching for a new location. They hope to reopen very soon.